Hello, my name is Brad Wardell, and I am here to demonstrate Deskscapes version 3.0. I'm the product manager here at Stardock for Deskscapes, and I want to show you why you might want to actually have this program on your computer. Deskscapes is a program that allows you to have animated wallpaper on your desktop, but more than that, it lets you do cool stuff with your existing wallpaper. So, for example, here are some of the animated wallpapers and regular wallpapers I have and what you can do with it. Deskscapes comes with, for example, an animated one. So let me go ahead and resize this so you can see the whole thing there. Deskscapes has this really cool configuration dialog that lets you do stuff. So here's an example of the Earth one. And if I apply this, the Earth moves in not real time, but you can see it move around. And you can tell I'm recording this at night because uh, it's dark on Earth right now, or at least in uh, Eastern Time Zone where I am. It also has a desktop slideshow, which is similar to what you already get on Windows 7. Uh, it'll cycle through your animated wallpaper, your existing wallpapers that are on your desktop. Here's another one that I found called Grassy Fields that uh, just has fields running. Plankton, planktonic. Uh, this is a really cool one from Startup Design and Cheninja, which is uh, Cheninja made this really cool animated wallpaper that's just uh, a background here that just does its thing. Vintage Dream is a nice one that you can actually choose which background settings to uh, show. And it's using the new hybrid technology, which uh, for lack of a better term, is means it's that uh, most of it's static with only a little bit being animated. So it uses basically no CPU. The Water Dream here is actually using DirectX. So it uses almost no CPU while having this cool water effect on whatever your wallpaper is. Now, one of the new features also in Deskscape 3 is that you can do cool stuff to your existing wallpaper. Like, I'm one of those people where I get a photo, but I won't tend to use it as a wallpaper because it's too loud. It's too distracting. So you can actually go to Effects now and do all kinds of things to them. So you could have a blur, blurred extreme. Um, I believe it or not, I'm one of the people who happens to use this because I just kind of want a colored smear on my desktop. Uh, there's another one. Here's a... Uh, let me find some of the ones that I like. Uh, I happen to like this one because it's uh, most of my icons are around the edge of the desktop. There's an, another one I use called Sepia, which is kind of cool. It uh, turns into like one of those old Western photographs. There's a various smear ones. Another one I tend to use, other people may not, but it allows me to just kind of have an interesting colored smudge on my desktop. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones that... Uh, come with it and we're releasing more of these all the time in addition to these you have literally hundreds and hundreds of animated wallpapers to choose from that you can put onto your system and applying one of these is really easy watch this so here's the water dream and I hit apply so there it is as you can see instantaneous and if I bring up the CPU on my computer it's using basically very little. In fact, the CPU I am using is Jing, which I'm using to record this video. So consider this. I'm using 15% while I'm recording the desktop. So if you take out Jing here, um, so I have this in order, the animated wallpaper, Deskscapes, is using basically nothing. And this is because if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7 in particular, all this stuff is accelerated by your uh video card so it's not really slowing down your computer unless you're running a video and then you'll use a little bit windows xp users it's not quite as good but if you can you can, at the very least you can still have uh you can still do cool stuff to your existing wallpaper i mean if anyone who's ever used photoshop can probably picture all the various cool things they've ever done with a picture all those filters now you can do it in real time without it affecting the original picture so that's essentially what Deskscapes is. You can download it, try it for yourself, see if you like it. Runs on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows uh, 7, and that's 64-bit Windows Vista and Windows 7. So uh, it actually has native versions of that. And uh, if you like it, you can register it for 1995 at uh, www.starac.com, and we hope you like it.